uh, welcome students so in this session we will uh, see some important conversion of uh, nitrogen containing compounds so this is the first question so we can see this is a carboxylic acid and in presence of SOCl2 so this uh, Cl will replace this 2OH so we will get product uh, Cl this is the CO and CH2 whole uh, thrice and this is again CO and Cl so this OH is replaced the Cl this is, uh, this is called the thionyl chloride again again we have ammonia so again this Cl is replaced by the ammonia so this pop this will form a amide so B will be your CO and S2 both side this is again CS2 whole thrice and CO and S2 so again they are used by the lithium aluminium hydride and followed by hydrolysis so in this case what will happen this is CO will convert into your hydride so this will become your proper amines primary amines so again we can see uh, right here NS2 and this uh, CO will be converted into amines so this will be your CS2 again we have uh, CS2 this is the uh, three molecules and followed by uh, CS2 and then NS2 means this whole CO will convert into CS2 and this will be CS2 this is our product so in this question uh, by using the PCC so this will uh, uh, convert OH up to the aldehyde stage so we will get the product is CS3 then CS2 hold twice and this will be your uh, CS2 uh, not CS2 this will be CHO because this will be converted into your aldehyde so O1 uh, O oxygen will be uh, reducing uh, converting oxidizing or CH into the CHO so we will get this product and by using the CS3 NH2 NaBH3 CN by using this is a product by amines and this one so this will convert into your secondary amine so uh, this uh, CH2 is there so by using this one it will convert into secondary amine so a nucleophilic adsorption reaction will take place this carbon so we will get answer uh, CS3 and then uh, CH2 hold twice and this will be CS2 and again uh, this will attack on the carbon this carbon this uh, nitrogen so we will get NH2 and this will be your CS3 so this is our uh, not NH2 this is NH so one hydrogen which it will, be, it will eliminate as a water so we will get this product so finally we will get, so we'll get your secondary amine by using this reagent so this is your um, you can see this is secondary amine and in the action of the CS3 COCl this is acetyl right so hydrogen CL will really as a HCl and uh, this will convert into your uh, compound that is the CO this is the nitrogen and this is your uh, CO and CS3 and uh, if you are using the lithium aluminum hydride and water so this CO will be converted to your uh, uh, it will be reduced into hydrogen so we can write this compound like this one this is the nitrogen and this is the CS2 and CS3 so finally we will get product this one so this is the nitrogen means all changes take place at the place of nitrogen the site of nitrogen so this is a ketone and the reaction with the H2 and OH so this hydrogen oxygen will uh, condense into water so this will be your OH and uh, this uh, compound will be uh, converted into this is the nitrogen and OH so you will get the product oxine this is called as the oxine and again by using the lithium aluminium hydride so okay by using so this will be uh, by followed by the water hydrolysis so this will convert into your amine so you will get the so this is uh, by the lithium ammonium hydride so this will convert into your uh, proper amine so this is your NH2 so this will be reduced into amine so OH will be uh, converted into your H2O and uh, from oxygen it will be converted to a primary amine so this is your cyclo uh, alcohol cycling alcohol so by using a KRK2 potassium dichromate in acetic medium so this will convert into your ketone uh, compound and again by using the ammonia so this is your uh, this uh, H2O will be condensed and it will convert into uh, this one we can write NH and the reduction will take place with the help of hydrogen in presence of platinum so this will convert to again amine so we will finally getting amine this way now if same if you are using PBr3 
so this compound if you are using pbr3 so you will get product um, so by substitution reaction so you will get here br and if you are using the ns3 so then what will happen so uh, it will take a in presence of ammonia dehydrohalogenation take place and it will convert into your cycloalkene so this is the answer this is your quaternary amines hydroxide so on heating uh, one of the bond is uh, cleaved so it will convert into your tertiary amine so this is nitrogen and cs3 and cs3 and cs3 and uh, then this methyl plus oh will convert to your methanol so this is our product so this is PBR3, so uh, this OH is substituted by the PBR, so we will get uh, this is the BR, again BR is replaced by the CN, so we can write CN and again hydrogenation with uh, an impedance of nickel at higher temperature, this will convert into your amine, so you can write this is the answer. So we, this is the final answer of this question. So this is the ethanol in presence of KMnO4, so this is a strong oxidizing agent. So this will convert into your finally acetic acid. So we can write COOH and we have SOCl2. So OH is replaced by the Cl. So we will get acetyl chloride. COCl and again in presence of ammonia. So we will get amide. So CH3. This is the CS3 and CO and NS2. So one HCl will be uh, eliminated. And again on heating with the sodium hydroxide and bromide. So this is the Hoffman bromide reaction. So one CO will be out and you will get the primary amine so in presence of copper this uh, primary alcohol is converted into your aldehyde and again in presence of ammonia and followed by hydrogen and nickel so uh, this will convert it to your uh, cs3 this will be your cs2 and this will finally come to amine so first it will convert it to your uh, cs2 and uh, in presence of ammonia and uh, Addition will take place cyanohydrin and again presence of water and nickel. So you will get the product CS3, CS2, and NH2. So this is the step reaction, and finally we have a tertiary amine ethene plus water. So by looking this three product and heating, so we can expect that uh, this product could be your is a CS2, CS2. So we can write uh, like this uh, that is the C2H5 and then N and in this way we have 3 CS3 group so this product may be like this so on heating uh, this is converted to your alkene and this is converted to your tertiary amine so again if you see this is the oxidation of silver hydroxide so so this product is formed by the this one so by looking this reagent and product so we can uh, guess that uh, B could be your uh, C2H5 then N and then this will be your uh, CS3 uh, whole uh, thrice and uh, this is the sound of the bracket and plus charge iodine minus. So this is the uh, product we get from this one from C. So C is getting from this product only. Okay. Uh, then uh, how we are getting this one? So this is actually this is excess. So excess means uh, a must be your uh, C2H5 NS2. So if this is your uh, ethylamine, so ethanamine. So if this is ethanamine, so if you give, give excess CS3I, so whole uh, this is converted to quaternary product. And finally, on oxidation, you will get this product, and on heating, you will get these two products respectively. So this is the compound C, uh, CS2, C2H5, ethyl, methyl and this is hydrogen. So this is an optically active amine. So give the possible product when it is treated with nitrous acid and discuss the optical activity of the product. So we can write this is the HC and this side is CS3, this is the C2H5 and this is the amine. So when this is uh, reacted with the HNO2 at uh, 0 degree centigrade, so this will form a diazo salt. So this can write C C S three and N two plus, and this will be C two H five. And uh, N two plus is the very good leaving group. So it is uh, converted as the uh, converted as a nitrogen gas, and this will convert into your carbocation C S three C two H five. 
So this is the second degree carbocation. So this is mostly stable and it can lead into two type of reaction. One, it can go at a E1 reaction. So in E1 reaction, so there is elimination of hydrogen uh, from either side. So you will get two product. One, you can get a CS2 if it is leading from this side. So CS2 and uh, then again this carbon double bond, then C2, H5. CS2. So this is your butene. So this is your our butene. And second possibility, one can lose hydrogen from this side. So you will get uh, CS3 and then CH double bond, uh, CH CS3. So this is your but 2 in. So we can get one product this one, butene, and one but 2 in. Second possibility that it can undergo SN2 reaction in presence of water because this is nitrous acid. So what will happen? Uh, in this case, uh, a possibility product will be your. Uh, here one more thing missing it plus is there so it can also form a uh, your cyclopropane so we'll get one third product also possible so we can write this product we can say methyl cyclopropane now a second possibility SN2 reaction so in hydrolysis so it can give you two type of products so one is inversion one is retention so it can give one HC this is the CS3 and this is the C2H5 OH so this is the retention product, retention product, a second is your, uh, your inversion of this product. So it can be your OH and this is C, CS3 hydrogen and this will be your C2H5. So this is the inversion of uh, this compound. So this is the inversion product. So we can see uh, by using nitric acid, so we got this carbocation and uh, this can undergo two type of reaction, one is the E1 and uh, second is the SN2. From E1, we will get the three product, butene, butuene and methyl cyclopropane. And if you are taking SN2, so hydrolysis take place on this carbocation, so we will take retention and second is the inversion product, means uh, three plus two, five product is possible by this reaction.